let them eat cake. Though she never noted the quote, this is the saying imprinted in people's minds, symbolizing Marie Antoinette. Other impressions include the beheaded queen, or the last queen of France of the French Revolution. Depicted in numerous cinematic or literary arts, Marie Antoinette remains one of the key figures in French history. Marie Antoinette was born in Vienna, Austria, in 1755. The daughter of Emperor Francis I and Maria Theresa, she was 14 when she vowed to marriage with the future King of France, Louis XVI. In 1770, they held their wedding ceremony in the royal chapel in Versailles. She was 15 and introduced to the public's eyes. Their marriage was sophisticated. Louis XVI was negligent, so Marie Antoinette turned to social events and had many secret lovers. She is generally popularized by her luxurious parties, dramas, and affairs. The French public alienated her by considering her wasteful in a time of turbulence. An infamous affair associated with the queen is the affair of the diamond necklace, where she is accused of secretly wanting to have a diamond necklace. Which is misunderstood by Cardinal de Rohan, who tried to gain her favor. The cardinal was then arrested by Louis XVI. Despite the auspiciousness of the events, this worsened the public's view of the monarchy. Despite paying little attention to politics in her early stages of life, Marie Antoinette started engaging in politics in 1789, when angry crowds stormed Bastille. She failed to convince her husband to take refuge in the army. Later that year, however, she succeeded in stopping the abolishment of feudalism by the Revolutionary National Assembly. This made her the target of hate towards the monarchy. In 1791, Marie Antoinette left Paris with her husband, arriving at the Austrian border, where her brother helped her. This act is viewed as a betrayal by the French citizens. In 1792, massacres and execution of the higher class began in France. In January of the next year, Louis XVI was executed for treason. After the death of her husband, Marie Antoinette lost her son. In October, she was sent to the guillotine and beheaded for treason, ending her turbulent life at the age of 37. The story of the life of Marie Antoinette may have ended that day, but she was still significant in terms of her impact. She herself holds a conflicting image. Many look to her as self-centered and treacherous, but many see her as a proto-feminist to make risk-taking and innovative decisions at the time. Nevertheless, Marie Antoinette remains one of the most significant people ever in French history.